Why hello you amazing beautiful people and welcome back to another Taylor Swift Friday. So this is it. I believe this is it. Not only is this the last uh our last freaking episode episode I don't know, reaction uh, to the Red Tour full concert. This is actually our last full like tour freaking world tour concert video reaction. I don't know what I'm just talking about. Um, as in, we've done, like, Reputation, we've done Speak Now, um, we've done the errors, like, we've done all of the Taylor Swift concerts, all of the Taylor Swift tours, we've done them all. There's no more after this one, no more official DVD ones, no more official, like, recorded ones, this is the last one, Red was the last one, so, after this, we have finished them all. Now, I have a load of recommendations. First, a lot of you really want me to check out the, um, uh, the Tortured Poets Department set from the Errors tour. So I'll probably do that next. Then a lot of people ask me to react to the Grammy Museum. It's like an hour long thing. So we might do that too. But easily some of the most requested reactions have been the full album reactions as well. So those are all going to be taking over this Friday slot. And that is the plan. Next week we'll probably do the um, the Tortured Poets Department Errors Tour. And from then on you guys can just let me know. Uh, well, what the plan is going forward, really? So that um, I don't know. Let me let me know. Let me know. We'll save this slot for like the bigger videos and um, the live concert performances and that sort of stuff. And we can do like uh, live songs and live shows and everything like that going forward, as well as like long Taylor experiences or interviews or documentaries, all that sort of stuff can all be hit. I think there is another Taylor documentary I haven't actually reacted to, so that's interesting as well. Basically, we still have so much to check out. I really do plan on just reacting to everything Taylor related. So yeah, you're just joining me on that journey. But how about I stop talking? Please like the video to support the video. Subscribe as well and leave a comment down below. And uh, also go check out our store. Even if you don't plan on buying something, Halloween is just around the corner. So go check out gotgamesclothing.com and see if there's anything in the Halloween range you like. And we do ship worldwide. Without more talking from me, let's jump into, and this is the last time I'm going to say this, Taylor Swift's the Red Tour Full Concert Part 4. What is that moving on her piano? What is that? What is that? I tend to write a lot of songs about the past. It's been pointed out to me recently that I don't really write a lot of songs about what's happening right now or what will happen in the future. I tend to write a lot of songs about what used to happen or what isn't happening anymore or how I wish things had gone, uh, or what I've learned now that things didn't go the way I wanted them to. So I've thought about that recently, why it is that I do that. I love her smile because after she says that. You shouldn't live in the past, but I think the reasons why I write a lot of songs about the past is because I think sometimes you try to find a lesson in something and maybe it'll help you forget it'll help you forget the things that you remember all too well so the intro <clears throat> is uh, is part of that video but then the um, the full version is part of a different video, so we're gonna cut over here. I love her intros to songs and how she ties them in to like not only relevant to the concert, but also like I feel like Taylor does a good job at like when she does these introductions to songs, making it that people in the crowd might be going through certain thing like situations and feelings and and things at the time. And then when she does those intros, it helps people listening, like listeners and people attending, to tie those songs to them, them on like a more personal level, if that makes sense. 
the things that you remember all too well. I walked through the door with you, the air was cold. Something about it felt like home. So how and I left my scarf there at your sister's house, and you still got it in your drawer. Is that guitar? Jeez. Oh, this is like a Leonard Skinner kind of vibe. My wide eyed gaze. We're singing in the car, getting lost. Stay. Autumn leaves falling down like pieces into place. And I can picture it after all these days. And I know it's long gone. And that magic's not here no more And I might be okay, but I'm not fine at all It's weird, listening to All Too Well, like, is always slightly heartbreaking for me. I feel like All Too Well is the breakup song of, like, all breakup songs. And I know Taylor has other songs that are, like, more more breakup -y, if that makes sense but something about all too well feels very real you know anyone who's gone through a hard breakup or, or like just a, not a happy one knows these feelings and these emotions and everything like that and i feel like taylor captures all of that so beautifully and devastatingly in all too well that whenever i listen to it it just takes me back to all those horrible feelings in a in a good way, kind of, <laughs> and just makes me relive them. So I always just end up sitting here listening to this beautiful song and my heart just breaking a little bit. Here we are again on that little town street. You almost ran the red because you were looking over at me. Wind in my head, I was there. I remember it. Photo album on the counter Your cheeks were turning red It used to be a little kid with glasses in a twin size bed Your mother's telling stories about you on the t-ball scene You tell me about your past thinking your future was me And I know it's long there was nothing else I could do I forget about you long enough To forget why I needed to You've got to love how when she does these like performances as well at the piano She like like does the side look to the crowd almost like she's talking to us it's like she's making sure the song is projected to the people all there you know leaning into the microphone and just adding to that intimacy of everything that we are we are experiencing right here all too well is such a special song it stands out for me so significantly it is so heavy and i feel like when it's performed live it just hits even harder God, they're like the head back in. <laughs> Jeez, this is not a song. This is not a song I ever find. Taylor head back in. <laughs> what the earth? What on earth? This is amazing. Maybe I lost in translation. Maybe I asked for too much, but maybe this thing was. Amazing. She's doing like a like a deeper sort of like throat based vocal tone on this one. You guys getting that? Like she like it's a different sort of vocal tone that I've I've never heard her sing all too well like this. Almost sounds like she's pissed, you know? Not 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 like a British drunk term, like a pissed in like she's angry.
having the starlights do the backing vocals there is amazing. Having that like guitar at the beginning too. This is like, this is all too well. Like I've never heard it before. It feels like a complete reimagining of the song. And she's only added like a few different elements and changed it up slightly. And yet it feels like so different. It's like com the emotions I am feeling from this feels so different to like previously. Like I said, it almost feels like let's get mad about this let's not let's not sit here and reminisce which is what i've always felt like all too well has has brought out of me it's like going down you know memory lane and imagining all these moments all this heartbreak and the thing is there's beauty in heartbreak you know i know this is gonna sound really random but there's an episode of south park <laughs> this is gonna sound so random referencing south park there's an episode of south park where butters uh gets broken up with by someone and he's sitting there and he's crying and Stan comes over to him and says, like, oh, you know, do you want to, like, come and, like, wallow with us over here? And Butters literally goes, like, no, I'm okay. He's like, I'm sad, but, you know, I'm also happy. And I'm happy that something can make me feel this sad. He's like, isn't that kind of amazing? You know, as, like, humans that we can feel these emotions. He's like, it makes me it, human. It makes me able to feel. And he's like, so, you know, I'm like, I want to I wanna experience it. I want to feel it because I, I'm glad that I can feel it. And I feel like that's what All Too Well has always like felt like to me. It's like remembering heartbreak, but like like kind of enjoying it. I don't know if that sounds is it sadistic or sadist or whatever the word is. Weirdly makes me feel like that. But this this feels different. This feels like this feels angry almost. I remember it. Oh, oh, oh. Like I'm paralyzed by it I'd like to be my old self again But I'm still trying to find it After plaid shirt days And nights when you made me your own Now you mail back my things And I walk home But you keep my old scar from that very first week Cause it reminds you of innocence And it smells like me Can't get rid of it Cause you remember it all too I just remembered something else as well. A lot of people want me to react to the um, uh, guest appearances from Taylor's live shows. There's so many I have not done, like collabs that she's done on stage. Probably like a hundred actually. And a lot of people want me to go through all of them. We might need to make like a, a list so I can like start working through it. That'd be good for Friday. such a beautiful day here in England today, you know? Outside of my window, I'm literally just looking at orange trees, a bright blue sky. And uh, I know it's cold out there, which makes it even better. My favorite weather in the world is, um, it is actually, I have two. My favorite, no, I'd say my number one is a bright blue sky, freezing cold, and snow everywhere, blanketing everything. My second favorite, 
is this. It is the autumn, like orangeness, the blue sky, but the weather's like in the my like the ten or below degrees Celsius, and you got to put a jacket on. You can see your breath and like that. You know, you've got a coffee and you're out and you're walking around. That I love that. You know, like the, I call it the sunglasses and jacket weather. You know, it's so cold you got to wear your your jackets, but the, it's so bright you have to wear your sunglasses. And I feel like all too well just fits perfectly with this this scene outside my window <sighs> man i really love this song <laughs> i really love it it's it's weird it's a song i never go to put on you know, like i i'm terrified of putting it on <laughs> i won't ever put it all too well on i never be like oh, i'm in the mood for all too well and put it on <laughs> it never happens but whenever it whenever i listen to it it just reminds me how much i fucking love it how much I love it. And I really do love it. It's such a freaking... <laughs> it's such a freaking beautiful song. It really is. It's, it's so special. It's so unique. There's nothing like it. It's amazing, man. It's amazing. Is is I can't think I can't compare it to another song I've heard from any not just Taylor's like not just Taylor's like songs, any song. I feel like I feel like All Too Well is a masterpiece in music, emotionally and in, by sound. I feel like it induces emotions from all of us. I can't even I can't, I can't even closely attach to any song I've ever heard. Anyway, let's move on before we all just start seeing it crying. Oh. I feel like an Alice in Wonderland feel with this. Weirdly. The dancing on the Red Tour is outstanding, by the way. dancing blows my mind the things these incredible dancers can just do with their legs is, is insane I literally like I've like when I watch like ballet I've, I've compliment them all the time when I watch them but when I watch them like dance and they're just like bending their legs and like straight legs and bending legs freaking everywhere different direction all this sort of stuff and then doing these like beautifully graceful jumps and it just but like I'm always watching like how the frick does a human move like that like, well, how like I'm a human <laughs> I could never imagine and it's not just like like it's, it guys are doing these moves too you know and I'm like I could never imagine if I tried doing that I'm, I'm out of commission for like two months just try to lift my leg halfway that height I swear, if it would just snap off. I'd literally be picking it up to like carry it around. What an awesome opening, by the way. Oh, here we go. Oh, I love the dress. Is Taylor moving like a bit clockworky as well? You've got like everyone's got like the the wind up sort of things in their back, and she sort of came out like. I love love story. I love this song so much. I always say I feel like love story sums up Taylor. I feel like if you ever wanted to describe to someone who Taylor is in like the shortest way possible, you just tell them the story of love story. You want to know who Taylor is? Taylor is the kind of person that didn't like the ending of Romeo and Juliet. Felt like the romance deserved a happier ending, so created a song to give those two lovers the happy ending they deserved. That is the kind of person Taylor is.
that quiver. <laughs> I love this song so much! It, it really is just so amazing how this has been performed live. I love the clock. Like, uh, what would you call it? Like, wind up clock, the clock effect, like the like that everyone's wore. Even the even the jackets, like this jacket is so cool with like the art style it's gone with the pieces on the back of some of the dances as well. It looks amazing. I love the movements too. I feel like Red has had some of the most graceful, elegant, and like just stunning dancing we have seen. I feel like the whole stage has been beautifully well built. And, and Taylor's like, like introductions to the stage for these performances has been so well done. I feel like Love Story is one of the best we've seen as well. <laughs> that quiver there. It's almost like she had like a little little giggle there. You can see her smile. Oh, we got we got some sort of glitch here. <laughs> we were attacked by robots. Oh, we attacked by robots again! Ah! <laughs> Sadly, this is obviously what happens when we have to put together these videos the way we do. Um, you're gonna run into glitches and technical glitches and that sort of stuff. You, we really like, we try and put together, by we, I say we. When I say we, I just mean the royal we. <laughs> it's all me. <laughs> I've like put all this together. Um, hopefully I've done an all right job. Um, but yeah, and, and and some of it spliced up with the the, the famous concert where Taylor wasn't very well. Um, so her vocals were like struggling a little bit, bless her. And the fact that she literally, the fact that not only did she perform, when she was unwell, but performed exactly the same. You know, like didn't use any backing vocals, didn't use anything like that, came out, raw vocals, I'm ill, my voice won't be as 100% as it is, but that is fine. It's human and I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna have any uh, like aids or, or acids or anything like amplifying my voice. This is what my voice is like tonight, so this is what it's gonna sound like tonight. And I love that from her. I fucking love that from her. Ah, the look in the wall. <laughs> this is amazing. Love this. I love this song so much. It's such a sweet song. This song, I feel like, encapsulates just like like this like the idea of like um like I I said this before in a reaction as well like if people watch movies and kind of hope like something different will happen when you watch them like I've I sometimes I watch movies and I know a scene that is coming and yet I'll be like maybe this time it won't happen maybe for some reason this time will be different <laughs> and like I feel like. This is the like the song equivalent of that, you know. It's like, ah oh, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna write this song, and I can just imagine like people singing it in like a mirror and performing this song, and it's like, and then Romeo put out a ring, yeah! <laughs> this is the best. I love the story on stage that we get here. It's like a Broadway musical. 
so well done. I love it. You can Taylor like wandering around the stage when not own. Then the Romeo comes out. Because she was, she was like wandering around on her own. Is that, that is it? That is it. There's no more. There's definitely no more. I don't know why you're all looking at me like that. That's definitely where it ends. What are you talking about? <laughs> that is exactly where it ends. That is where it, she said good night. It's over. Oh man. Do you know what? I was about to say there's some songs that Taylor performs live, and they're just like songs that are made to be performed live. Uh, like you listen to the 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 album version, it's great. You hear it live. It's just exceedingly mind-blowing. But then I realized that statement would be false because every song that Taylor makes is better live. Everyone. I stand by that statement. I do. Every single song Taylor makes is better live. If you listen to like the album version, it's good. But if you want to really experience Taylor, you have to listen to the live version or see her with your own eyes. You, that, that's the only way to properly experience those songs. 100%. I stand by that. Every single song, Love Story, kicks ass live. All Too Well kicks ass live. All of these songs are just like enhanced. They're more emotional. They're more like, they're, they're just more like, I don't know the word, but you get to live the, the story that the song is presenting. You know, they're more visual, even with a music video that may like take you through everything that is going on in the song. It doesn't feel the same as actually watching it live. Love story. Taylor acts out the story of the song. You know, Romeo vanishes. She's wandering the stage on her own. She finds Romeo. Boom. Proposal. Woo. -hoo! You know, And it's all acted out on stage with these amazing intros, these fantastic stage sets. And it feels way more real. Like I said, even though a music video may have like a movie esque music video, it just doesn't hit like the live does. <clears throat> the live is is so special for all of her songs as well. Watching Taylor live is just it's very is is very different and very special. And I feel like the more I like the more songs I see live, the more I just fall in love with the live versions of those songs. They really do like take over and replace for me. Ah, the love story is such a cool song. It's such a beautiful song, and the concept behind it is one of my favorites of any Taylor Swift song. It really is. Ay, ay, ay. So that's it. That's it. You're probably wondering why I haven't taken my headphones off. Well, maybe Taylor decided she was going to do an encore. Maybe. In a month, when you said you needed space, what? Then you come around again and say, Baby, I miss you on a I love the outfit. It's very Alice in Wonderland, isn't it? Is that supposed to be like this? I, it must be, right? We break up, you call me, I love you. Such a fun song. <laughs> Favorite parts, favorite parts of live poems, like, like ever, like, ever, never, <laughs> ever, ever. I love how serious she looks when she says it as well. Oh, 
so cool. Look at this cool indie record that only three people have heard of. It's so cool. You get people like that always, don't you? They're like, oh, have you heard of like this song? Have you heard of this band? There's been like, I've been looking over here because there's been like a mosquito that has been like buzzing around. I'm just like worried he's going to get me. Oh no, he's still over there. He's just chilling over there. Um, and he, he's, he's going to come for me. I know he is. I can see him. Quite a big boy. Um, yeah, like um, you always get those people, don't you? Oh, have you heard of this band? Oh, they're so cool, you know. They're like this underground, this band. You know, fair enough for in re like introducing smaller artists to people. And those people are cool. But you know the people I'm talking about. I'm not talking about those people. <laughs> I'm talking about the people Taylor talking about. I love the outfits on stage as well. Taylor's and everyone else's. And the Starlight's and the little hats, adorable. <laughs> Lightly. Put your hands in the air. Yeah. I love the beginning of when people put their hands in the air, and uh, everyone has to find out the the way. So everyone's like, you get like hands like this. They're just like everyone's trying to like work out which way before it becomes this. It's so funny. Everyone's like, which way? Like, I still love you, and I'm like, I'm just, I mean, this is exhausting, you know? Like, we are never getting back together. Like, ever. No! That part never stops being awesome, by the way. Every time I see her do it, every time, I love it. I love that little, like, like break, and then everyone's there. It's like, oh, so he called me up, and I was just like, fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> I know she doesn't say that. It would be funny if one day she did say that. <laughs> but I love it. I love it. It's the best. It's the best. Now that is actually where it ends. And no, I'm not joking. The headphones are off. The headphones are off. Look, that's actually where it ends. I went through the whole concert timeline. And that is the end. That is the end. I have to say, the Red Tour is utterly outstanding. And I've probably said that about every single one we've reacted to. Um, and I mean it. <laughs> I really do. Um, the Red Tour is, um, is is just amazing. In terms of stage sets, I really feel like it has some of the best. It's like very... Uh, I don't know the word. I don't know the word. Because I want to say like medieval-esque. But that's the wrong word. You know? Very like gothic. But I feel like that's the wrong word as well. You know? Um, it just it feels very old. It's a very old, like, classical stage set. And it I feel like it really takes you on a journey as well through different sort of ideas of romance, you know? From, like, like these, like, uh, 
I, I don't. I wish. I, I wish I was better at articulating, <laughs> because I feel like we go like through the decades and the time periods, and it's like a timepiece performance where we are taken through all these different um, historical sort of romantic settings that people would associate with romance stories, and Taylor brings all of those stories to her performance by turning them into sets that she then adapts to the songs. I feel like the Red Tour does a brilliant job at doing just that. It brings all of these historical romantic time sets that we all establish with famous stories and brings them to life through her music on the stage. And it does, in a way, feel like a mini Broadway stage. But then again, all of Taylor's concerts always do. And they don't just feel like songs. You know, it doesn't feel like an artist just going up there and performing songs. It feels like an, if it really does, in a way, feel like it's a Broadway show and Taylor is the star of it. That's what it feels like. That is the effect of every single Taylor concert I've reacted to so far. They always feel like this is not this is not a Taylor Swift live performance. This is a Taylor Swift show. And uh, that's what they feel like. And I feel like the Red Tour is one of the best examples of it. Where it feels like a Broadway show more so than some of the others. It has all of that effect to it. It has all these outfits, all these dances, all these like intros and openings to every single song. It has so much attention to detail, so much effort, and weirdly feels intimate too at points. It is a perfect freaking live show that balances everything it is that we love about Taylor live shows and then gives us more as well. I truly think it is one of my favorites. It is a shame there is no official DVD. It is a shame that we probably will never get an official DVD. You, there's loads of theories about why that is. Um, one of the most like prominent theories is quite a controversial one. So, like, I, we're never gonna. It's never gonna happen. But thanks to some incredible Swifties, we are able to get as close to possible with this. And I've left a link to the videos I react to and stuff like that in the description. Um, and I just want to say thank you to everybody who t took part in like putting together fan edits and fan clips and all these videos that make it possible for Swifties like us to watch the Red Tour in some degree where otherwise we would never be able to see it. And hopefully you've all enjoyed watching it with me. I know a lot of you haven't seen the Red Tour before. So hopefully I've done an all right job at putting together some of the edits and, and like and making it like very like consumable for all of you as well. Um, I'm hoping you're all happy with how it turned out. I had a really fun time watching it. And um, thus concludes our final... It feels weird saying that. It's, you know, it's been a year. <laughs> it's actually been a year. When was my first Taylor Swift reaction? Let's have a look. If I type in GOT Games, Taylor Swift. Let's see, when was my first Taylor Swift reaction? When was it? 11 months ago, my first ever Taylor Swift reaction was the 30th of October, one day before Halloween. Um, this video will be coming out on the 25th. Um, on the 30th, it will be a Wednesday. And that will be uh, a year since my first ever Taylor Swift reaction. I won't be doing a special video or anything like that. I don't know if you guys want to tweet at me or something, you can. Um, I don't really know what I would, what I would say or do. Um, but yeah. We're very close, so it's it's kind of fitting within a week um, of being of having reacted to Taylor over a year ago. We have um, finished all of her live concerts. That's kind of awesome, you know. We've done over hundreds of Taylor Swift reactions and songs, and over a year we are at this point. In one year, this is what one year into <laughs> becoming a Swifty looks like for a reaction channel. I have had the best freaking time ever. I really have. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who supports this. I know I'm not like one of the biggest like Taylor Swift reaction channels out there or, or reactors or, or anything, but I appreciate every single person who watches my videos. And I really just have had the greatest time ever getting to know her and, and falling in love with her and, and more so than that, falling in love with all of you. So thank you so much. And I hope you've all enjoyed all of my concert reactions. And I'm looking forward to seeing where this journey takes us next. And I'm looking forward to checking out all the concert collabs. I actually forgot about that, but that's going to be really fun too. Anyway, have an awesome freaking weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the Patreon, the website, links to all the good stuff's in the description. But just have yourself an amazing weekend and a happy Halloween. And as always, my friends, you will see me in the next video.